Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweshai, Ba'ashem Chakudash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew, who the world ignorantly calls God, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the Israelites. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And the Chakudash is the Holy Spirit, which is the Spirit of Truth, the honest of the Apostle, the Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. Peace, love, salutation, blessings to the house of David, which is the elect. So I just real quick wanted to play this uh, clip. Um, this came from Reuters. Um, it says South Korea mandates QR codes after nightclub uh, coronas out, uh, coronavirus outbreak. So you know now they're you know mandating the um, this uh, device that has to be on your phone. You know basically going into the contract uh, tracing. And, you know and um, as you want to see in the clip, you can't go into certain uh, areas. You know certain entertainment spots or you know certain bars or things of that nature unless you have. You know, unless you uh, uh um, you know, show show this QR code, okay, and um, you know, this you know just goes further into you know the steps towards the uh, mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, because now things are being mandated, uh, you know, that that wasn't there before, okay, in order for you to do certain activities, um, you know, in in in, uh, in certain uh, reg uh, re in certain um, areas, certain stores, you have to uh, present a um a QR code. So I'm just gonna play this, and then you know we, we'll get back to it. If you're looking for a night out in South Korea, prepare to have your cell phone on and ready to go. Starting June 10th, visitors to nightclubs, karaoke bars, and more will have to show a QR identity code of personal information for COVID-19 contact tracing. Karaoke room owner Son Ki Sook explains. The customer can install the QR code app and put their personal information on their own smartphone, so it's safe from being leaked and helps prevent coronavirus infection. I very much welcome the adoption of this system across the country. Some Seoul districts are already using QR codes for contact tracing after authorities struggled to find people exposed during an outbreak at nightclubs and bars last month. Despite concerns over using technology to log personal information, Residents like 19 year old. You hear that? Using technology to log personal information. All right. And this information is going to the uh, federal government. Okay. And, you know, as this guy just said, you know, they're, you know, people are going to welcome this thing because it is going to be presented, you know, as they're doing this with this. Um, and once again, this is just a step towards the uh, mark of the beast, of course, you know, um, which is going to be a, you know, globally. But, um, you know that uh, uh, it's being presented as something that's going to be beneficial to uh, for the for the people, all right, for the citizens, all right, and they're going to do it to where it is a um, you know requirement, okay? They're going to fashion society as as the scripture says, He causeth all, all right. He's going to, they're going to fashion or construct society to where that this uh, uh, having you know the chip is something that is going to be uh, what they're going to deem as beneficial uh, uh, to you, all right. But we know exactly. You know what it is, and we know the the exact uh, uh you know recompense or the punishment for taking that chip, which spoke which is spoken about in Revelation the fourteenth chapter, the eighth verse. University student Shin No Ah don't seem to mind. This system is very convenient regarding the privacy infringement issue. We just give our mobile phone number. It is essential for the government to trace coronavirus cases. We can give our mobile phone numbers to prevent the further spread of coronavirus. According to South Korea's health ministry, personal information will be logged in a government database for four weeks and will then be automatically deleted. Yeah, so, you know, that's that's where everything's moving towards, man. All, all roads, you know, leads to the RFID chip, the mark of the beast. Okay, so I'm just going to, you know, get the scripture and I'll close it out. It's the book of Revelation, chapter um, 13. You know, and it's June. Hmm. It's June, so we're going to see. Revelation 13, verse 16, He causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Okay, and as you see, everything is becoming digital, digitalized. Everything is, is uh, uh, you know, your information in order to, you know, uh, a maneuver in society because of the whole coronavirus. All right. They're using that as a ploy to, uh, you know, uh, uh, mandate things. That is going to be used, uh, uh, mandate things that you are that you need technologically, okay. And and and, and as we see, things go more and more towards you know that whole uh, you know AI and uh, um, you know digital and biometrics. You know it's it's leading right up into this chip, man.
All right. And this devil, he's going to be he's going to be moving fast because he knows he has but a short time. Verse 17 it says that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right. So, you know, you can't go like as in, as in South Korea, you can't go to certain um, stores. You know, you can't go to bars. You can't go to nightclubs unless you are, you know, uh, have this QR code, which logs your personal information. All right. So people are going to, you know, be willingly, you know, accept that. And especially when it gets to the point where it has to do with things that are essential, like, you know, uh, food, clothing, shelter, you know, they want to uh, promote and push that being mandated. So, of, of course, you know, a lot of the sheep, a lot of the zombies, you know, they're going to they're going to be willingly take take this uh, um, this uh, chip because they're not going to be able to buy or sell. All right. So this is one more scripture. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 27, verse two. It says, as a snail sticketh fast between the joinings of the stones, so doeth sin stick close between buying and selling. All right. And, and buying and selling is what is you being able to, you know, uh, conduct business in society is you being able to be a part of society. So people are going to do what they're going to sin. As it says, sin doeth stick close between buying and selling. They're going to sin. And that sin is what taking that chip. All right. Taking a mark of the beast. All right. Pledging your allegiance to the to the beast. So that you can continue to keep buying and selling, man. But that's why, you know, the ones that fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, you know, we're not gonna, we're not gonna succumb ourselves to, to the image of this beast. All right. Verse three it says, unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, his house shall soon be overthrown. Yeah. All right, because it's only the ones that 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 diligently fear the Lord that are not going to stick uh, uh, close, you know, uh, to buying and selling, all right, by way of uh taking that chip and sinning, man. You see? But everybody else that doesn't hold themselves diligently, diligently in the fear of the Lord, which, you know, these heathens, of course, you know, uh, don't fear the Lord. All right. And two thirds of our people, they not they don't fear the Lord. Their house is going to be overthrown. And that house is speaking about themselves. They're going to be overthrown and they're going to be caught up in that snare, man, that's coming. You know, but, you know, I ended there. Just want to bring this out, you know, keep our eyes open as the Lord continues, uh, continues to keep working. You know, we got to continue to keep watching. So with that, Shalom.